called horse in the pocket. Uh, and so what you're going to do is you're going to side pass or parallel park your horse into this pocket. And usually you have a partner. So I'll help you out with that because uh, you don't have a second person. And this is an excellent opportunity to kind of see how a horse reacts to pressure and release, which is what we tell the kids is kind of a horsemanship tool which is called uh, pressure and release, which is thank you and for please and thank you. So the pressure is your please. So you want them to do something. So if you want her to back up, please back out of my spot. As soon as she does that, it's the thank you. It's the release because a horse will always learn off of the release. So it goes into a lot about manners. It goes into a lot about, you know, it's the same thing. You know, we will parallel to a youth that's asked to brush their teeth. And if we said to them, your staff asked you to brush your teeth and you say, ah, I don't want to. Does your staff just walk away and say, oh, okay, he doesn't want to do that? Or does your mom say that or your dad? Or Then they say, well, no, they keep asking me until they say, until you do it, right? So it's the same thing with a horse. If you just allow them to do what they want or you don't stay consistent, you're going to have a bigger behavior on your hands and you're not going to get what you want accomplished. And you're going to push on her until she moves sideways. And so there's the shoulder because she's kind of cut into three pieces, right? And usually you have a couple of people, so you'll do it together and work together and you can kind of go into teamwork and communication that way as well and we're going to keep an eye on Reba because she's still part of that team right yes. ultimately like you're not working with a machine so I'm going to stay here just to make sure she doesn't go backwards or forwards that's going to be my job your job is to go sideways okay. <laughs> so your pressure no. so she's pushing against you right that's not how this works she's like hmm oh She's like, okay. So there she moved. So that was the, that was the, where's the release? That thank you. Yeah. There you go. So you got one step on the front and her butt's still kind of out because you ultimately want her to go sideways. So you can push on her hip even. That's it. There. That's it. Because a lot of the horses that we get, they're not, they're not trained, like highly trained. It's, it's, they're giving you an honest reaction. She was unsure. Of course, yeah. And so you were still consistent, which is the, the key point in there. And you weren't telling her, oh, okay, she's not doing it. I'm giving up. Which, it'd be different if our youth were in there because it's a difficult hurdle because your horse isn't listening to you. Why aren't they listening? I look stupid. What am I doing here? And you sit there and you say, this isn't about what you look like. It's about teaching your horse and moving with your horse and communicating, right? And then we take the stuff off of them and put it onto the horse and the horse becomes, you know, oh, I'm training a horse or I'm where, and you're building empathy and compassion. And then all of a sudden you're, you're communicating and they're actually accomplishing something that's actually quite difficult to do. Comes into the program. A lot of people have never worked with horses or if they have, it's just pets or sit on a horse in the saddle to actually get on the ground and work with a horse and actually start to develop a relationship on the ground where it's a mutual respect and building those life skills because the horse is going to require that from them at all times. There's never a moment where Reba said to you, oh, okay, I'll just, I don't know who you are. You're not doing what I'm asking. You're asking me, I'm just going to do it. She's going to make you work for it until she understands, right? So it makes a big difference. And we teach the beginning of our program. We do teach a lot about the body language of a horse so that the kids can start understanding, you know, okay, that means they're relaxed. So then I must be doing something right. Or, oh, they look really tense. And so I can bring that to them and say, hey, you know, your horse is looking a little worried right now. What can we do to make that better? and then they start to develop those skills on their own.